Hey you guys, welcome back to another episode of Candy Cleaning, Cleaning Conversations. Conversations. Y'all right. know the banger. Oh my god. I'm sorry guys. I I had to do it because I miss doing that. What's up, y'all? What y'all been doing? That's right. What's up everybody? Um on this video, I just wanted to bring you guys in on our week. Okay, yes. on everything. Thank you to everybody that has been subscribing to our YouTube channel. We finally reached over 20K. So clap it up for that. Woo! Shout out to all my subscribers out there and everybody that's hitting that like button and leaving comments because, you know, when you hit the like button, it tells the algorithm to show the video to the world. So yes. thank you guys so much for helping me grow this channel. And most of my viewers are probably startup cleaning companies. Y'all are probably um, just trying to grow a cleaning business, mm -hmm. right? So if you're trying to grow a cleaning business, I wanted to bring you in as much as possible on my journey. When I first started, you probably seen me out there cleaning houses with my kids. And you can actually go back on my YouTube channel to when I first started so you can see the growth in our company okay and then we do revenue shares and stuff like that as well i have a new revenue share video that i'm going to be doing coming up okay but on this video i wanted to bring y'all in on life what it's like being a on i i'm still working in my business but i'm not cleaning so i'm working in the office and i want to bring y'all in on the office life and what we got going on so this week for my company we are currently working on, the first thing we're working on this week is crunching numbers. Really, when I say crunch numbers, I mean, I have some accounts that um, I may be paying a little bit too much on. I might can do better, you know, with my numbers, okay? And I had to come to a realization, okay? I had to, I had to come to the conclusion that, you know what, I may be paying a little bit too much for these units. Um, I might can do better, right? And some of my clients, some of the units, I actually have a hundred dollar units and I give them to my kids and it's like, uh, -uh. <laughs> you get, cause the, the thing that made me say no, because I, I end up, sometimes I'll win accounts and I'll just give them to the, to my, my teenagers, let them clean the, the accounts. Mm -hmm. But the problem with that is one we not making no money <laughs> okay even though it's a hundred dollars and it may take them about 45 minutes to clean it we still didn't make any money which in my mind when i won the account i'm like i'm trying to help help my kids help my babies out so like if i can help them they'll stay out of my pocket that was my mind frame right mm -hmm. but the problem is my name is still on it i still have to invoice for this if the customer complains, that still takes up our time, right? Mm -hmm. So we should be getting something for it, okay? And what made me think about that is when, when we did get a complaint. You know, one, one day my son didn't show up to work. You know, that's our name still on that account. You know what I mean? So I'm like, man, I can see if you just... My son's a contractor. He's a wonderful cleaner, by the way, okay? Shout out to, shout out to Kyler. Um, I can see if I just gave the account to them and it's underneath their name and they have to deal with the invoice and in the back and forth and stuff like that. But if I'm still in it, I need to be getting something out of it. So I had to stop thinking of, of those little baby accounts like it wasn't no money. I'm just going to let them, let my kids have it. So we're not going to do that no more. Right? Absolutely. You guys like crunching your numbers and like knowing your numbers is very, very vital. Hey, you guys. All right. So a lot of you guys have been reaching out, asking me, when are you going to have your next live workshop, in-person workshop? Okay. So we have a date for you this year, June 22nd at 12 o'clock, Savannah, Georgia, be in the building. Okay. Click the link down below. If you want to join us at our cleaning business masterclass workshop, you will need your laptop because we are going to be taking action. We have some things that you're going to be doing, implementing in real time. So when you leave this workshop, you will have some small wins. Okay. It's 197. 
If you're not already a student, if you are a student, it's only $97. But click the link if you're interested in meeting me in person and coming to our live workshop. Don't pay attention to all the Christmas decorations. I just ain't took them down yet. I've been busy, okay? But <laughs> make sure you click the link in um in my bio i got a link somewhere down here and register today it's only 40 seats okay it's gonna be a private mastermind only 40 seats click the link in bio and i'll see you guys june 22nd bye bye know your numbers is very very crucial because you need to know how your business is scaling if it is scalable if it's not making any money if it is making money you need to know the ltv which is the long what term value so you need to know if any of your clients does it make sense um to have a client you know do you should you get rid of this client like so what we decided to do is write down a financial plan and goal for tenacity clean and that's what we're working on now just looking at all the clients that we have now just looking at how much they cost you know us to have how much does it cost to bring them on how much are they actually bringing in how much we're actually paying the contract and how much we're actually getting to see if it actually is a balance and if it's not a balance then we're going to try to make some adjustments but just knowing your financial um, real financials is very very important because now you get to see what your company actually makes and you know how to make certain decisions and stuff like that and right. I, I just know it opened up my eyes to a whole different viewpoint of just knowing your finances because you could think your company making money because you're getting a check every month but absolutely not you need to like know your numbers. If you're doing basic math, you can think, oh, I'm scaling, I'm I'm growing, I'm you know, but in reality, when we get when we got in here and we started playing around with the numbers, it gets a little tricky. Okay, especially if you have like a loan or something like that. Um one time I took out a square loan mm -hmm. and square square takes out a percentage, you know, so and they, they get a percentage off of your sales okay so if you're charging too low and you took out that loan and they're taking a percentage and you have to pay people and you still have your insurance that you have to pay like all of this stuff has to make sense at the end of the day so it's important for you to know your numbers don't go don't go in this thing blind mm -hmm. and what what I've noticed throughout the years of us growing is I, I scale fast when I'm working when I'm going I'm going we are flowing mm -hmm. right so there's a time when you got to slow down and check the numbers and this is our time this is our week <laughs> we slow down and we say listen we're gonna we're gonna evaluate all the contracts again I'm not gonna be giving my kids free accounts and still managing the accounts and not getting anything from it I'm going to value every dollar that comes in this account. I don't care how big or how small it is. Because right. it has to make sense. We are a company. We are a growing company. We're small still, but we're small and we're growing. But um, it's time to niche down and work on our numbers. So that's one thing that we're going to be working on. Hey, listen. It's five things your cleaning business cannot live without. One, you need clients. You need a system that automatically attracts clients. Two, you need workers. You need some staff. You need to learn the power of delegation. You can't do everything by yourself. Number three, I know you hear this all the time. You need a proven system. Yes, yes, girl. You're going to need a system. You can't do nothing without a proven system. Number four, you need to know your numbers. And most importantly, number five, you can't do nothing without the, without the tenacity. That's right. You need the willpower. You need to get up off your ASS and get some work done, okay? And one thing about us, we can help you do that here at Tenacity Academy, okay? We have a proven system where we can help our students start, grow, scale, profitable cleaning companies. If you want to know more about that, go to www.tenacityacademy.com and book your discovery call, okay? I'll see y'all on the other side. I got to get back to this money. Peace. What I'm doing this week is going back behind the last two weeks of the billing to make sure that everything got billed, everything got billed correctly, we not losing no money, okay? So 
Welcome to a cleaning business world. This is my world. I'm, I'm bringing you in. <laughs> you guys. All right. Ms. Johnson had to take her foot off the gas when it came to billing, you guys. Because she was so used. I mean, of course, I still bill because... I don't know. I, I got that's my little soft spot. I don't like too many people touching what I got to build. But for the most part, Miss Johnson is like overwhelmed with a lot of stuff. And when you feel like that, that's when it's time to outsource. So Miss Johnson did go ahead and just take leeway and say, you know what? I'm going to trust. I'm going to pull back and I'm going to trust someone to help me build. And you guys, you got to trust somebody. You can't do everything. You know what I mean? Like, once you start to see yourself grow and get to a certain level, definitely never hesitate to have someone else do it. As long as you give them a plan on how to do it, don't just send them in there blindly and, and try to make them figure out and get mad because they're making mistakes. Of course, they're going to make mistakes because you didn't teach them what to do. But as long as you give them like a, a detailed sheet of what they're supposed to be doing and as long as they follow that, give them some time. If they can catch on, okay. If they can't, then well, hey, go find somebody else. I mean, trial and error. Just trust I, the I know some people out there looking like, uh-uh, I ain't letting nobody touch my bills. Uh-uh, mm -hmm. uh-uh, because that used to be me. So, um, but just recently, I did outsource that that part only the part that I build the, mm -hmm. the customers that I build I outsource that to someone and then my new position is just making sure that that person did everything they were supposed to do when right. it came to sending those invoices out okay um, the next thing I'm working on this week is we are rewriting everyone's position in the company Absolutely. because when I first started Tenacity Clean actually started in 2019 okay it was november 2019 that's when i started to nasty clean and as i grew as a company the positions slowly started to change a little bit uh when i first brung tamika on i brought her in as an assistant um but she's she her position has changed over the years and so did mine and we didn't even realize it till we had a conversation and she was like well what what is my position <laughs> Because <laughs> according to Google, if I'm doing all of this, then that is, what you say, operational manager, it, that's, mm -hmm. that's where you're, you're leading to. And I didn't even realize it, you know, I didn't realize that her position had changed from being one thing, what I originally had hired her for, to being something totally different. Uh, because of the responsibility so what we did was we started writing down the position i said well you know what the names the positions are changing mm -hmm. and me as a ceo i am the visionary i'm always there to if she's talking to a client on the phone i'm always on the side i'm critiquing i'm like mm -mm, mm -mm, don't mm -mm. or i tell her why not why to <sighs> I'll tell her, I was explain to her why she needs to say something in a different way. You know, I'm just critiquing. I'm just, you know, yeah. uh, I'm waving the wand over here, you know. So, um, our positions change and the contractors as well. I need clarity because when you have workers that have been working for you for my, my lady's been working for me for over a year. Um, some people can get, get complacent and start doing their job just regular right. you know what I mean not really caring about the position not really doing the doing what they're supposed to be doing so we have to bring it back and bring clarity to what their position is sometimes you got to bring it back to the basics okay this, this is what I hired <laughs> you for okay I didn't hire you to go in here half ass <laughs> just because you used to this client or whatever i hired you to do this right okay so right we got to bring it back to the basics so we are rewriting everyone's position i love it you guys because the one thing that you need to have in your business is structure okay everybody needs to know what they're doing it's no different than writing a service agreement so that way there is clarification on what each party is supposed to be doing just like in a partnership you need to know what role that this person has what duties that they're supposed to perform so that way no one is overdoing the other person or you know everything needs to be even 
So us just doing, you know, everything far as letting everybody know their role clar clarifies a lot. Because a lot of people just think, well, I'm just a cleaner. Well, you're more than just a cleaner. You're a cleaning technician and you are definitely an independent contractor. And with you being an independent contractor, this is your role. These are your responsibilities, you know, that you have to have. And then me and Ms. Young were just sitting here and I'm like, man, what is my role? Like, I'm sitting here and I'm like, wait a minute. Okay, an assistant, what I normally do as an assistant, it's like when I first got here, I was just taking phone calls. Yeah, because I really didn't know anything. And then gradually over time, I'm like, whoa, I've seen Ms. Johnson get so sworn with a lot of stuff. I'm like, man, she was doing all this stuff by herself. Now, I said, you know what? Let me step it up just to tell you. I may not be familiar with a lot of stuff. So she's right. She did have to, you know, critique me on certain things because, hell, I didn't know. You know what I'm saying? I, I do have customer service background, but it was just the little bit of stuff that I had to adjust to. But after that, I was cool. And I must say, like, stepping up and delegating a whole lot of tasks that I do, I didn't even know I was an operational manager because of everything that I was doing. And it's just like it brings clarity because you might not know what you need. And it's like when you look up the actual position for a person on Google, it tells you what they're supposed to be doing. Like if you're questionable, but like, well, what role is this person supposed to play inside of my business? Look it up because this don't be naming people stuff. You know what I'm saying? People quick be calling people their best friend when they first meet them. No, they're going to wear this not your best friend. You just met them. Or you'd be like, sis. Or you'd be like, bro. Like, I used to be in the habit of doing that, calling people names, and they not really fulfilling that title. <clears throat> like, come on, y'all. Like, you got to get it together. If you say somebody is something, whatever that is in, in, in be your clear. You need to be clear. Be clear so on that the way they'll know what duties they're supposed to be doing. So, they're, they're, therefore, there's no mistake. Y'all not all over the place. Right. Because I noticed us kind of getting all over the place. But then we had a way, 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 way. Right. I need to be doing this. Right. You need to be doing this. It doesn't need to be like this. <laughs> okay. So that was our, that was one of our pain points. So, um, that's why we're working on, we're getting clarity. Now, when I step in the office, I know my position. She knows her position. Contractors are going to know what their positions are. VAs are going to know what their position are, you know? So, and as you grow, those positions may change. It's important to bring it back, bring it, bring it, bring it back to the foundation. All right. Okay, and talk about it. So that's one of the things that we're working on. Okay, we're working on it. We're a work in progress. Um, the next thing we're working on is I love to learn new programs. Um, we're actually learning uh, two, two new CRM programs. And we already know about the programs. It's just learning more about the program. You never, you never stop learning as a CEO, as a mentor, as a coach, like, I love to learn. My mind is a sponge. I'm always consuming information when I have when I have time. I have set time where I can just learn. Mm -hmm. You know, so we're setting time out to learn different programs because um when we're in our community, we do we do private coaching and some of our students they use certain programs. We want to fluently know all of these different little programs. Know know about them, you know what I mean? So that's one thing that we're working on this yeah. week as well. We're Staying gonna, up to date, y'all. We're going to squeeze the learning time in. <clears throat> and then also working on getting our reviews up for our cleaning company. Oh, that's a must. Yeah, we're working on that because I had someone positioned to <laughs> help me out with that. And say those names if he watching. But uh, we need that's one thing that we're going to be working on this week too. You know, making sure we've done a lot of clients. Um houses accounts and stuff like that and we just want to beef it up we you always want to grow as right. a company so i'm looking at the stuff that i can improve in my cleaning business and i'm working on it yeah i'm working on are very very important y'all that's how you, you know? build the trust in in future clients like reviews are everything because take take for instance when you guys go to y'all travel out of town right mm -hmm. i know we like to travel mm -hmm. but you go out of town and you need somewhere to go eat at mm -hmm. you you need a hotel to stay at what you gonna do to see if that place is a good place or somewhere that you want to go check the reviews. you're gonna check their reviews <laughs> and if they got bad reviews you're not gonna go so just 
think about it, you guys. If you don't have enough reviews or if you've got some bad reviews, you might want to check it because that's the reason why people are not, you're not getting attraction because of the reviews. So you want to try to get a review as soon as somebody say, oh my gosh, you guys did a beautiful job. Okay, get a strategic way to ask them for a review. That's and if right. you don't, that's the whole purpose of getting a CRM. So that way to automatically come in, you know, so you don't have to do it the dinosaur way. But reviews are very very important I can't very you important you guys so there you have it that is the stuff that our company is working on this week what is your company working on huh yeah. please let us know in the comment comment down below what what are you going to be working on this week because hmm? a lot of people be saying they bored and, and it ain't nothing to do and i always tell people it's always something to do i, I don't mean. care whether you got clients or not mm -hmm. if you don't got no clients then you got a bunch of work to do right okay you got a lot of work to do man get out there <laughs> and i mean every the the one thing that everybody knows cold calling and passing out flies at least do that if you don't know how to do anything else at least do the basics, the very basic stuff that you do know that you need to do right. for your business if you ain't got no clients, okay? okay? But that's my time. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If so, make sure, make sure you guys leave us a like, comment down below. Until next time, we out of here. Peace. Peace.